Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 7 of Perfect Hair Full Bloom. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It is baby's turn! I'm so excited! <laughs> Yeah. But I don't want to think about that. Ow. So pretty. Oh. She's upset, and we need to do better, you know. Sure it is. But <laughs> you're not coming back until Komachi gets her episode, aren't you? <sighs> That's the other reason on why you're still here.
But what a coincidence. She lives here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, come on, you like her? You're fine. She's finally of age. I mean, is once in a while all the time? Oh. Well, yeah. That's when you know they real good. <laughs> Always had the biggest appetite besides snows of me. On, it looks so good. Tempting. He's right. Uh oh. <gasps> oh.
알았어라라 세상에 You are so good. Really? <laughs> <laughs> My ship. See if you can add the singing into the play. Kind of make it a musical ask, but just having that one song could very much change everything. And how dedicated you are with it.
Oh, no, no, it's fine. There's not enough time. It's just so good! <laughs> oh. I like the fact that they didn't use the same audio from the previous series and such for these girls that they're letting them. Oh my god. <laughs> It's the mean comments. Of course. That was a little too easy though, but okay. both.
Easy. Mm -hmm. But that's what she wants. No, she wanted you to find yourself inside. So now that Komachi is our last one and such, of course, one, we're going to have Nuts come in to talk to her and such because, of course, he had things to do. Now, this episode was really good. I loved it. Oh, my God. I think it's probably going to be my number one fave until Komachi's next week. But, like, oh, my God. And the fact that we got to hear her saying, like, seriously, her seiyu has been doing a lot of work. I mean, she's been busy the last what two years for going from freaking um both jojo and chainsaw man and then coming back to do this and then now she's going to be in something else that's coming out at the beginning of next year girl is booked and busy and i love it like oh my god i'm so happy for her still like even with the fact is that how popular some of these days get even after Pretty Cure or anything else, the fact that they still get a chance to come back and voice these iconic characters for another go, even though it's only for a certain amount of weeks, it, it still is sweet. It brings back a lot of memories for these characters and for these seiyus at the same time. But then also, when it is time to say goodbye, it is gonna hurt in the next couple of weeks, especially when we get closer and closer to Christmas. But the fact is that, one, she got to able to, like, sing again and a brand new song, and she did it with syrup, too. Bye. Goodbye. Like, I can't. It's too much. <laughs> So literally no nuts no 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 nuts they, they said no they said hey all the interacting that you got with these two in the last couple of weeks that's all you're getting for now he's coming back in episode nine that's a little messed up but i get it <sighs> i really wanted more moments between my babies because like yes seraph and Udana got to have a moment today Hell, even Coco and Nozomi had a moment today. And just the fact that those two are also living in the same apartment building. And Kudami was like, up, oh, sign yes. <laughs> like, let's go up around. Like, this is a sign and such. And it does make you wonder. Because we're, once again, we're hinting on their relationship and such. And I love the fact that he apologized 
for not writing her, which is really good because as a couple and such and you're not writing each other, of course you feel like, okay, well now we're just friends again or we're nothing. We're just platonic and stuff and we're just, you know, going on with our lives. And But he was still secretly watching her and everything. And so I hope that he does tell her that, that, yeah, like, even though I didn't write anything to you, I still did come to see you. I didn't, you know, physically see you, but I watched you from afar, even though that's a little weird. But, um, of course, in her way, she's going to be like, oh, my God, like, that's so sweet and such. So hopefully in, in the next couple of weeks, these two get another, like, moment that they're able to just sit down, talk it out, and finally figure out what they want to do or what they want to be as a couple and such. I'm guessing with that final episode, that is when we're really going to get the, like, final confrontation for these two and being like, yes, we're going to continue as a couple or no, we're going to go our separate ways and such. And I mean, hopefully, especially not only for them, that with Syrup and Urara and Komachi and Nuts, that also gets the same thing for them because they've all been shipped to high heaven, you know, ever since they've all come into this show. So let it happen. I'm just saying for my other two ships, that's that's all I want. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episode 7 of Pretty Careful Bloom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 8. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.